In this video, we'll be talking about placenta. This is a high yield video for USMLE step one. Even if you are not a student for USMLE, this video would be very useful for you. So stay tuned till the end. So what is placenta? Placenta is a temporary organ that develops during pregnancy. It develops within the mother's body. It is composed of both fetal and maternal tissue. In this video, we would try to understand the structure of placenta, the function of placenta and the diseases where the placenta is abrogated. So let's talk about the structure of placenta first. Let's zoom into the placenta to understand the structure. Here you can see the chorion is actually the fetal part and the maternal part is the maternal blood flow. So the part of the endometrium where the embryo gets embedded actually contribute to the placenta. In this video, we would be talking about this thing in details. Now, just to look at the structure, we can see the fetal blood circulation and maternal blood circulation in the placenta. So here you can see the direction of the blood circulation. This red indicates blood that goes to the fetus and blue indicates the blood that is coming from the fetus. And here are some finger-like projections which are known as chorionic villi. These are active sites for gaseous and nutrition exchange. So let's look at the chorionic villi in a zoomed view. Here you can see the line demarked the maternal versus the fetal tissue. The left side is the fetal part. The right side is the maternal part. Here you can see the maternal blood circulation. These arrows indicate how the maternal blood is actually moving into the fetal in the fetal circulation. And this particular arrow shows how the blood from the fetus enters the maternal circulation and get filtered. So overall, there is a flow rate. The fetal flow is 400 milliliters per minute, whereas maternal flow is 450 ml per minute. Now let us try to understand the different structures and different components of the placenta one by one. So just to orient you, here is the amnion, here is the chorionic sac, here is the finger-like projection. We already know this thing. This is chorionic villi. Now there are important parts which are actually part of the mother, decidua. So decidua basalis, decidua uh, parietalis and decidua capsularis, these are the three layers of decidua. You can see the uterine cavity lining and umbilical vesicle which is the future umbilical cord in this particular diagram. So the decidua is really important. This is specialized learning uh, lining of the uterus during the pregnancy and it has three layers which we have already discussed. Among them decidua basalis contributes to the maternal side of the placenta and it provides a stable site for pl placental attachment. That is why this is very important in context of physiology. Now let's quickly dive into the functions of placenta. The key function of placenta is gaseous exchange. The placenta facilitates the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between the mother and the fetus. This is the first attachment with the mother during the embryonic period. Then nutrient transfer. The baby cannot eat within the mother's wound, right? So all the nutrition comes from mother's body and transferred to the baby via this placenta. So it's a great source and a great interface where nutrient transfer happens. It's an also platform for waste removal. Placenta helps to remove waste products such as urea, creatinine in the fetal circulation. Then placenta is an active site for hormone production. It's an endocrine tissue as well. Placenta produces hormones like human chorionic gonadotropin. Remember the pregnancy strip? You look for this particular hormone in the urine and that is produced by the placenta. Other than that, progesterone, estrogen, these are the hormones which are required for maintenance of the pregnancy. All of these are secreted from the placenta. Then Placenta has immune protection function. Basically, it prevents bacteria, harmful organisms, most of the virus to enter the fetal circulation. Sometimes this barrier is breached and virus can affect the uh, fetus during pregnancy and that's a serious condition. That is why avoiding viral infection during pregnancy is a big concern. And other than that, placenta also allows antibody to cross through the maternal side to the fetal side. Now let's talk about the development of the placenta in a bit more details. In order to understand the development of the placenta, you have to get back to the second week of embryonic development. So let me take you to the second week of development. You can see in the second week of embryonic development, the key event that happens is the blastocyst implantation into the endometrial wall. And it happens from day seven to day 14 in the second week. You can see in a series of 
snapshots how the embryo is getting embedded into the endometrium now let us look at this process in a bit more detail so this is basically the blastocyst this would eventually be embedded into the endometrium now in this case the outer layer is trophoblast the inner layer is inner cell mass which is the future embryo the red is the future embryo now this trophoblast one component of this trophoblast is actually giving rise to the placenta trophoblast is further subdivided into two components the cytotrophoblast which secretes several proteolytic enzyme that help in the embedding process and the next one is the syncytiotrophoblast which plays an important role in the fetal and maternal gas exchange so this actually helps in basically the placenta formation so by day 10 the development of blastocyst is complete and it is basically embedded into the maternal endometrium so at this particular point of time one can look for the structures like lacunae which has started forming in this particular um, trophoblast layer in the syncytial trophoblast layer and it's important to note that before development of the placenta the uh, nutrient and all sort of like uh, nourishment for the embryo comes from the yolk sac later on placenta is the source now at around day 12 what happens is these lacunae goes uh, grows bigger becomes elaborate and they innervate the maternal sinusoids they rupture the maternal sinusoids and blood actually fills these lacunae this is the first blood connection which is established with the mother isn't it amazing now it's important to note that the syncytiotrophoblast actively invades the uterine wall and rupturing the maternal cavities this is a key event now this is the first maternal to fetal blood uh, uh, blood relation establishment you might say eventually these lacuna becomes more intricate overall the connection is getting more and more distinct and this is the genesis of the placenta formation eventually there are many more morphogenetic events that makes the placenta so the syncytial trophoblast initially forms finger like projection known as chorionic villi and these finger like projection become more and more elaborate with time that you can see in this particular timeline so if you look at the gestational week in the x axis and the overall architecture of the chorionic villi you can see first it starts like a primary villus which eventually branch to form secondary and eventually give rise to the tertiary villi so let's talk about the placental hormones the first hormone is human chorionic gonadotropin and this particular hormone is actually detected in the female urine during pregnancy the second one is basically progesterone and estrogen which is produced by the placenta and it helps to maintain the gigantic endometrium and it provides the nourishment to the growing embryo now let's talk about the placenta as an immune barrier placenta can prevent immune infection many of these immune infection can be prevented by placenta but some infections like rubella cytomegalovirus toxoplasma uh, uh, toxoplasma these infections cannot be prevented by the pl uh, placenta then we'll talk about the maternal antibodies so maternal igg antibodies can actually cross placenta and provide passive immunity to the fetus in the early stage of its development also it secretes immunomodulatory factor remember the embryo is growing inside the mother so suddenly mother's immune system cannot treat the embryo as foreign and start attacking it so immune modulatory uh, effectors that are secreted from the placenta ensures that the embryo is treated as own part of the body and not treated as a parasite or some sort of like foreign entity that is why placenta is incredibly important in terms of human embryonic development now let's talk about placenta related abnormalities but we are not going to talk about these abnormalities in details we're just going to breeze through and take a bird's eye view on that so the first abnormality is placenta previa in this case what happens is the placenta is uh, present in an ectopic location and it kind of covers the cervix sometimes it can also cause bleeding during the third trimester so exactly these pictures depict how the uh, cervix is blocked by the presence of the placenta in this image so there are, are different categories of placenta previa sometimes it could be marginal sometimes it could be complete so all those nitty-gritty details would be discussed in a different video anyway there are other aspects of placental abnormalities like placental uh, abruption in this case the placenta detach 
uh, from the wall and eventually that cause problem right for the baby then there is something called placenta uh, accreta in this case placenta is too much embedded into the endometrial wall so you can compare it with the normal situation now in this case you can see placenta attached too much deeply and firmly with the uterine wall that is also detrimental in the, by the way so i hope this video was useful it gives you a quick overview about the placenta and its function and the key aspects of placental development if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up you can get more notes and flashcards in our facebook page instagram page all the links are provided in the description you can support our channel using super thanks which is a hardship icon present in the right hand side corner of a video you can pay via paytm paypal or upi see you in the next video